Yo, what's up YouTube? It's your boy Doc Jones back with another video. Today, I want to talk about how to find your style. Now, finding your style is going to be something that takes some time. If you're not already seasoned in, you know, the things that you like to wear, then it's gonna take some time. This is not gonna be an overnight thing. You know, I remember when I first started looking for my style or when I actually started developing my style was when I started working in a clothing store and I actually was dealing with clothes on a daily basis. And then I got lucky enough to meet my girlfriend, which helped me develop my style a lot more and it happened a lot faster, but it was certain things that you know not only from working at the clothing store and helping other people find things that they would like to wear and also having a girlfriend that understood things about style that actually helped me bring my style together really fast i want to show y'all some of those things so that we can actually cut y'all time in half so y'all don't have to take so much time developing your style i remember when i didn't have when i didn't have much style i would kind of just have stuff in my closet it was kind of everywhere i didn't have things that went together and so that's one of the first things i suggest that everybody does is actually look into your closet see what it is that you already like see what type of brands that you already have and just so you're getting a little bit more familiar with yourself and the things that you like now from there i would say start with the basics now you don't have to start with the basics but having the basics in your closet already making sure you have like white t-shirts, you know, maybe some black t-shirts, a black hoodie, like just basic stuff, a pair of blue jeans, you know what I'm saying? A pair of nice slacks, a pair of camo pants, a pair of white shoes. These are all essentials that just having them in your closet is gonna help you be able to put your style together because those are things that pretty much everyone wears. Like everyone has a white t-shirt, everyone has a black hoodie. So these are some things that you can actually incorporate into your closet that are gonna help you put your style together over time. I would say one of the first things to do is to figure out how it is you want to look. Like know in your head, okay, this is how I know I want to look. This is what I want to look like this is the vision I'm going for to figure this out it's, it doesn't take too much right either go on Pinterest or Instagram and start building a vision board that is gonna help you figure out the style and the look that you want to go for I personally started on Pinterest and I started pinning different things that I liked on a board and then over time as I continued to pin different things the algorithm started feeding me more things that were similar to the photos that I was pinning already so that actually helped me start visualizing what it was that I wanted to do and what it was the look that I was going for now the second thing I like to talk about that I really think this is like one of the main things right here like seriously figuring out what looks best on your body type everybody's body type is different so if you're if you're seeing a vision of a look that might look better on certain body types that's okay but I would say go to different stores like shop around and try on different looks try on different things even if it's something that you don't really see in your vision just try it on and see how it looks on your body type figure out what looks good on your body type so then you can actually start visualizing more in depth what works for your body type and what is going to work for you now you might find out that something that you really didn't think you liked you might try it on and you might realize that it works really well with your body type and you might like how it looks on you now same thing vice versa with something that you do like on your vision board you might go try it on and you might realize hey it looks good on them it might look good on you know one of your favorite celebrities or something like that but it might not look as good on your body type so definitely going out and trying different things on is going to help now not only that but doing some online shopping doing some online shopping is going to definitely definitely help broaden your spectrum on like the things that you want to get now this isn't it's not necessarily about being trendy right that's one thing I want to say for me personally when I first started getting into my style because I was working in a designer store at the time I feel like most of the things that I was 
attracted to were trendy things because we, that's what we were selling in the store. I was working at a men's store, a designer clothing store called Giorgio's Menswear in Atlanta. And it was a lot of trendy things in the store because, you know, we're going to sell what's hot. So I feel like in the beginning, I was more directed towards the trends. And I will say seeing the trends actually helped me because it helped me get out of my comfort zone. It helped me look at things that I might not usually look at, but it was a trend. I feel like not necessarily going too trendy, but more so, more so figuring out what looks good on you and what works for you is going to be more powerful, more impactful to your fashion, to your style, rather than just going with the trends. Now, if you see a trend that you like, definitely try it out. I'm not saying don't use any trends or don't try on any trends. Definitely do that if it's something you really like, but don't be stuck just on trends. Now, there are multiple different styles that you actually, you know, can get into. Just to name a few of them, or at least the ones that I've looked at. You got the vintage style, streetwear style, you know, a lot of people thrift. It took me a long time before I actually started, like, really figuring out how to thrift and, you know, taking my time to find certain pieces it was tragic trying to <laughs> go in there the first few times um, with Kaylin and figure out what it was I was looking for. I had no idea what I was doing, but over time, I started, look. I, I knew what I was looking for before I would even go to the thrift store. And when I knew what I wanted before I even went, that helped me a lot on finding what it was that I was looking for. So, you know, that vintage street style, that streetwear style, having like a skater style. Um, and I'm gonna put some pictures up here so then you can see examples of these different styles, but a skater style, it's pretty much what skateboarders wear. Um, a lot of times that can dive into the vintage look as well, because a lot of skaters wear um, streetwear and vintage style clothes as well. Hype beasts, you know, sneaker heads, that type of style is definitely a look as well. I feel like that one is more going towards the trendy side of things, but it doesn't have to, to be a, you know, to be in the hype beast and sneaker head wave. It doesn't necessarily have to be a trendy look all the time. It could just be uh, you know, brand names that you have on or things like that. Tech wear. Tech wear is definitely a good look. I like the different layers that they do with tech wear. The straps, you know, black on black. I love those types of looks. So tech wear is definitely a look that you should definitely check out as well. Um, you, can, you can do the dressy style. You know, this is like more like the grown man style. I call it grown and sexy. You know what I'm saying? So this is something you could wear like some Chelsea boots with some slacks and a turtleneck or maybe a button down with the tie. There's a lot of different things you can do with this look. I feel like, you know, this look right here is my business casual look. I wear stuff like this when I'm actually stepping out to dinner or I'm stepping out to maybe like a business meeting or something like that. This is how I like to dress. Athleisure is actually um, one of my favorites as well. This is how I dress when I'm just going out to the grocery store or if I'm chilling at the house or I'm going over a homie's crib or something like that. Like I'll throw on like a pair of Adidas sweatpants and a hoodie and I'll just rock out with that. Just vibe with that because you know it's very comfortable to wear and it's just it looks good as well you know so throwing on a, a nice sweatsuit or something like that with some nice sneakers is definitely a look most people are already into athleisure and they don't even know it <laughs> so definitely check that out as well you got the minimalist style the minimalist style is very simple very clean you know maybe you could have on a pair of nice clean blue denim and then maybe a nice plain gray hoodie um, with some a nice clean pair of white shoes. Um, this is the minimalist look. It's not uh, very flashy. It doesn't have a lot going on, but it still looks clean. It still looks simple. Um, you could even do like a nice monochromatic look with this as well, and have on like uh, maybe a nice uh, a nice long trench coat. You know, something plain under it like a plain gray hoodie you know with a nice a nice pair of gray slacks or something you can really do a lot with this so you know definitely check out the minimalist look i like this look i haven't got too much into it so far myself but i do like this look a lot and i am looking forward to like finding things that i can put in my closet to go more in the direction of the minimalist look as well another thing i want to talk about is adding accessories over time you're gonna realize it's not just enough having the clothes for the look and having accessories is gonna help take things to the next level now you don't have to jump into this right away but even just having a nice necklace or some nice rings for example or you know even you know hats and caps and, 
and things like that shades these are all things that can help enhance your style and help take your your style to the next level so definitely look into different accessories that you like and this is gonna help build around your style and your look as well because it's a whole it's a whole aesthetic and once you figure out what it is that you want to look like and what it is you want to do this is going to take it to the next level i feel like this is like you're on your way to super saiyan once you get to this point where you're adding different accessories to your look and it doesn't have to be something that you change every single day the accessories can be something that you literally wear every day this can be something that you wear on a daily basis that's just going to take the fit to the next level so another thing i want to add about you know building your style this is literally just you laying down your foundation man it's not like you have to stick to one look that's not what this is about it's not about finding your style and just sticking to that one look this is just finding the foundation to get your style started and once you lay down that foundation you can build on your style from there and actually take your looks to the next level and go to different looks and bounce around so maybe one day you do the athleisure maybe the next day you do streetwear maybe one day you want to really be on more that that uh hype beast style and actually you know bring out some name brands you know so there's a lot of different things and you can mix and match it as well so don't be just stuck on one thing this is just the foundation to get you started so then you can actually you know have a foundation for the style that you want for yourself and you start creating your own style this last thing is like a main key because without this none of this means anything you have to have confidence you have to build your confidence have confidence in what it is that you're wearing feel good in what it is that you're wearing because because as you're finding your style it's gonna be people around you that maybe that's not their style something you wear is not their style and you have to understand that just because it's not something that they like or something that they would prefer wearing doesn't mean that it doesn't look good on you so you have to feel confident and what it is that you're wearing and what it is that you're buying all of these things are great you know what i'm saying knowing the things that you like and this and that but if you don't have confidence bro if you don't have confidence all of this stuff goes out the window because you're not gonna look good at anything if you're not confident in it as you build that confidence you'll feel better about exploring into different realms when it comes to your style and fashion and it's gonna get better and better over time so yeah definitely i mean that's everything i wanted to talk about today you know if you have any questions about you know how you can actually build on your style some more just drop a comment in here and um we can chop it up go follow me on instagram at illish free and thank y'all for watching make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'm gonna see y'all in the next video peace